Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. What we have here, we can take 5 raised to power 6 to the left hand side. And what we have becomes x minus 4, 4 raised to power 6 minus 5 raised to power 6 equals to 0 from here. That is, yeah, we can write this as x minus 4, 4 raised to power 3, then 4 raised to power 2. As 2 times 3 here give us 6, then minus also 5 raised to power 3, then raised to power 2 equals to 0 from here. Then here this follows from the difference of 2 squares. When we have a squared minus b squared, which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets. Then open brackets a minus b. That is here. A is standing as x minus 4, 4 raised to power 3, and b standing as 5 raised to power 3. Then what we have here, follow this and becomes x minus 4, 4 raised to power 3, plus 5 raised to power 3 into brackets. Then open brackets, x minus 4, 4 raised to power 3. Minus 5 raised to power 3 plus bracket equals to 0 from share. Then here we have two possible cases. At this first one, we have x minus 4, 4 raised to power 3 plus 5 raised to power 3 equals to 0. Or we have the second case x minus 4, 4 raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 equals to 0 from share. Then solving from the first case, this follows when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3, which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets, then open brackets, a square minus ab plus b square. Then what we have here follow this and becomes x minus 4 plus 5 in form of a plus b into brackets x minus 4 squared a minus 5 times x minus 4 then plus 5 squared plus brackets then equals to 0 from here as this here we simplify further and this becomes x plus 1 into brackets then open brackets. Expansion here gives us x square minus 8x plus 16. Then minus 5 open these brackets here. We have minus 5x plus 20. Then plus 5 square 25 close brackets equals to 0 here. That is, here yeah, this becomes x plus 1 into brackets and open bracket here we have x square minus 8x minus 5x it was minus 13x then here we have 20 plus 25 that's 45 and 45 plus 16 we have 1 that's 61 so we have plus 61 plus brackets equals to 0 from there that is here we have two possible cases that is x plus 1 equals to 0 or we have x square minus 13 x plus 61 equals to 0 then on this side, we have x equals to minus 1, which is a real solution here. And here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 13, and c equals to 61. Applying the quadratic formula here, we have x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. 
that is here we have x equals to minus minus 13 plus or minus square root of minus 13 squared minus 4 times 1 times 61 then over 2 times 1 then here we have x equals to minus times minus as plus so we have 13 plus or minus square root of 13 minus 13 square we have 169 then minus 4 times 1 times 61 we have minus 2 uh, 44 then over 2 here the next step we have x equals to 13 plus or minus square root of 169 minus 244 we have minus 75 then over 2 here that is we can write root minus 75 we have x equals to 13 plus or minus square root of 25 times 3 times minus 1 then over 2 then root 25 we can bring it out as 5 and we have x equals to 13 plus or minus 5 here we have root 3 then root minus 1 is i over 2 so here we have two complex solutions here then solving from the second case here this is the follows one we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 which is equal to a minus b into brackets and open brackets a square plus a b plus b square then here what we have becomes x minus 4 minus 5 into brackets and also open bracket x minus 4 squared plus 5 times x minus 4 then plus 5 squared plus bracket equals to 0 from here that is yeah this becomes x minus 9 into brackets and open bracket expansion here becomes x squared minus 8x plus 16 then 5 open this bracket we have plus 5x minus 20 then plus 25 close brackets equals to 0 here that is here we have x minus 9 into brackets then open brackets here we have x square minus 8x plus 5x give us minus 3x then minus 20 plus 25 that's 5 and 5 plus 16 that gives us plus 21 plus bracket equals to 0 here then also here we have two possible cases we have x minus 9 equals to 0 or we have x square minus 3x plus 21 equals to 0 here then on this side we have x equals to 9 which is also a real solution and from here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1 b equals to minus 3, minus 3 and c equals to 21 and applying the quadratic formula we have x equals to minus minus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 21 over 2 times 1 that is here yeah, we have x equals to minus times minus is plus so we have 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 square that's 9 then minus 4 times 1 times 21 it was 84 then over 2 here then here yeah, this becomes x equals to 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 84 give us minus 75 then over 2 here and we can write root minus 75 as x now equals to 3 plus or minus square root of 25 times 3 times minus 1 over 2 
and root 25, we can take it out as 5. And we have x equals to 3 plus or minus 5. We have root 3, then root minus 1 is i over 2. So here also we have two complex solutions here. Therefore, altogether here, we have six solutions in this given problem. That these two real solutions here, two complex solutions here, two complex solutions here, making six solutions here. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video with some so put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.